I don't care to find out what happens when you die in these zones. You guys are pretty. Oh, hello. It's in the walls. I can see that. That guy's got a pretty but he's got a pretty but substantial amount of health there. Stay away from that. I want nothing of that. Oh, hello. Why can't I hit this guy? There we go. That's a big dude. He's pretty big. Go ahead and head glitch him here. <laughs> you just stand behind this box and maul him. Can't complain how we're doing here. I think we're doing all right. We'll get him eventually. He's got a lot of health, but that's okay. How do I use those secondary things? Like that. There he is. That was pretty good. We'll get him eventually. Might as well kill his minions. He can grind up a little bit. Get a couple of ex extra XP. That takes a lot of hits. <laughs> I don't know if it would be easier with the partner if they scale or not. Achievement unlocked or you just killed an a trophy. And we got a warp drive. This could cripple the fallen. We need to go see the speaker. Hooray. Yeah, see like something games like Borderlands, depending on how many players you have, um, the enemy's scale and difficulty, um, which I guess makes sense. I mean, why should a person playing by himself have to deal with the same amount of difficulty as four people playing? But I don't know how this game works. Either way, I'm by myself, so it's not going to change anytime soon. Doesn't matter. Got less precision kills that time because I believe the last shot is what counts for the kill, and I was getting. T it was mostly like getting headshots and then ending with it with the body shot. But I don't care. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So does not matter what the precision kills are. I guess it would be for bragging rights if you're in a party, but the only person I have to brag to is myself here, so I don't really care for that. I don't, it doesn't matter. Any hues, we're gonna apparently be heading back to the tower to talk to the speaker, which is the voice of the person who is in a lot of movies, actually. I was gonna say Pirate Radio, but he's in a lot of movies. He's in, uh, I think he's in Love Actually, or Love Happened, something like that. Some, some British comedy, that's actually pretty funny. Oh, he's in a lot of movies. He's, he's a British guy. I'm pretty sure. So I'll go ahead and shut up for this cutscene. See what the speaker has to say. There was a time when we were much more powerful. But that was long ago. Until it wakes and finds its voice, I am the one who speaks for the traveler. You must have no end of questions, Guardian. In its dying breath, the Traveler created the ghosts to seek out those who can wield its light as a weapon. Guardians to protect us and do what the Traveler itself no longer can. What happened to it? I could tell you of the great battle centuries ago. How the Traveler was crippled. I could tell you of the power of the darkness, its ancient enemy. There are many tales told throughout the city to frighten children. Lately, those tales have stopped. Now, the children are frightened anyway. 
The darkness is coming back. We will not survive it this time. Its armies surround us. The Fallen are just the beginning. What can I do? You must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Your ghost will guide you. I only hope he chose wisely. Just gonna throw it out there. I think it's funny I how. Did. I'm sure of it. We're in this together now. I found it interesting how instead of putting the subtitles line by line, they decided to just put this ginormous block paragraph of subtitles at the bottom of the screen. I don't know why they would do that. <laughs> I mean, it means that you can anticipate what he's gonna say like ten, like a minute from now. I don't know why they wouldn't just put it line by line, but whatever. That's nitpicky stuff. I'm not sure if that was my screen flickering there or if that was the clouds thunderstorm. I hope that was the thunderstorm because if my screen's flickering, that's unfortunate. I would rather that not happen. Alright, so we're back in orbit now. Awesome. We can go ahead and upgrade while we're in space. Might as well, right? Double jump, right? Yay! We got double jump. There's a lot of uh, paths you can take. Oh man, I, as far as I can remember, I only got as far as like over here in the in the in the, in the beta. So I didn't get very far, obviously though, because it's a beta. You're not supposed to get that far. You have a lot of options. If we could, hmm, we should probably go to the tower and encrypt that, unencrypt that, I should say. What are they? What are they? Something news over here. Oh. Okay. Um. Do I want to head to the tower? Yeah, let's head to the tower real quick so we can dismantle, or so I can uh, in, un, un encrypt that th uh, arm thing, my jig, and see if it's any better than what I have right now. Probably is because I still have the default stuff equipped. Anything is better than what I have right now, most likely. Only problem with going to the tower is the long loading screen, but I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Nope, I mean, we don't have any other options. We have to deal with it, so... Yay, that's always fun. Anyways. Most of you watching this probably... Have already played the game yourself, so... Hopefully y'all are enjoying it. I mean... I mean, it's fun, I think. Not, not Obviously, not everyone's gonna be happy with it, but I mean, I can't complain. Okay, let's go ahead and unencrypt the thing with the cryptark happy to help apparently he has no he he does it for free so that's always fun huh. interesting i don't think you choose that one i only had one Until what the hell the next time. all right what was it I don't want you uh, damn it level 4 i'm not level 4 yet let's uh okay well for now let's equip this one we can dismantle the rest of this stuff might as well. I don't have any other helmets, nor boots. I don't have anything else. Alright. We'll hold on to this until level 4, in which point we will equip that. And that's all we were here for, so let's go back to orbit. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. First things first, can I go to the bounty board? Is the bounty board a thing that I am allowed to use at this level? It looks like it. Let's go ahead and get some bounties, get some extra XP. Like 200 sensor mites? I don't know what that means. Six patrol missions? Nah. Kill 100 enemies without dying. I can do that, right? Oh, damn it. I have to be level 4. Fuck. Transaction complete. There was no transaction. Alright. So I have to be level 4 to do things. That's kind of unfortunate. But once I get to level 4, I'll go ahead and get the bounties. I can do that 100, kill, 100 enemies without dying. That's not a problem. I don't know if I ever died in the beta, so I don't know what happens when you die. Um, that would suck. If uh, well, I mean, yeah, I don't want to find out what happens when you die. There's that, there's that raid thing that I wanted to do, but I couldn't because I didn't have PS Plus. <laughs> level two, level three. I don't know why I wouldn't just do the level three one first, but I guess you can skip. Now I'm gonna. This is story, story. Story. 
no free room yet. Um, okay, well, we'll do the level three one first. I don't know why I wouldn't do the level three one first. It makes sense to do the level three one before the level four one, I guess. We're well, trying to be methodical about this. 